So this next story is a warning for anyone who visits the dentist for any kind of procedure. So a local man went in for a simple medical implant, and now years later he is thanking doctors for saving his life. Here's Inez de la Cuerta with the story. But we're working on it. When Matt Brock decided to go in to get a new crown implant, he never really thought about any possible complications. I've had major dental work many, many times. I never knew this was possible. But something just wasn't quite right after the procedure. It was maybe the most painful thing I've ever been through in my life. It hurt. And so began a two-year journey in and out of doctor's offices and hospitals to try and figure out what was causing his symptoms. Couldn't breathe. Um, uh, climbing up a flight of stairs would win me. But Matt's problems only got worse, so Matt contacted former colleagues at MedStar Washington Hospital, where Dr. Baffey informed him his heart was failing because of a condition known as endocarditis. The valve is not closing. His heart had become infected after bacteria had seeped into his bloodstream, and it really was all linked to his dental procedure. It, it happens after any kind of, um, you know, calls for infection. Some people develop it if they, uh, if they injure their skin or, but dental work, believe it or not, is, is, is a common cause of this. It turns out the condition affects about 200,000 people in the U.S. every year. And though it is relatively rare, left untreated, it can be fatal. If, he, if we don't treat this, yeah, people die of just of heart failure. Matt and his doctor are now speaking out to raise awareness. I just, it was simple. You know, I'm just going to the dentist. I didn't think about it. Um, we need to think about these things and we need to pay attention. Reminding others that if something doesn't feel right, get it checked. In Washington, Inez de la Guitarra, WUSA 9. Okay, so did you recognize that patient? That's Matt Brock, a former longtime news reporter from this area, an all-around good guy. We're so glad you're doing much better, Matt. He says that health care has motivated him to pay better attention to what his body is telling him, something we can all learn.